everyone this is a kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation of non homogeneous form so let's get started problem solve 2x plus y plus 1 into dx plus 4x plus 2y minus 1 into dy equals to 0 solution given differential equation x plus y plus 1 into dx plus 4x plus 2y minus 1 into dy equals to 0. Then 2x plus y plus 1 into dx equals to minus of 4x plus 2y minus 1 into dy. Right? So this becomes minus 4x minus 2y minus into minus plus 1 into dy, right? Then, you can write this as minus 4x minus 2y plus 1 into dy equals to 2x plus y plus 1 into dx then dy by dx equals to 2x plus y plus 1 by minus 4x minus 2y plus 1. Okay. The equation of the form dy by dx equals to a1x plus b1y plus c1 by a2x plus b2y plus c2 is called non-homogeneous differential equation. Here a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 are real numbers and sometimes we will get c1 not equals to 0 or c2 not equals to 0 but we don't get both c1 and c2 equals to 0. Okay, fine. Now by comparing these two equations we will get a1 equals to from the terms containing numerator. Okay, from the terms containing the numerator, we'll get quotient of x. If we equate quotient of x, we'll get a1 equals to 2. And from quotient of y, we'll get b1, 1, and c1 equals to 1. Likewise, from the terms containing in the denominator, we'll get a2 equals to minus 4 and b2 equals to quotient of y minus 2 and c2 equals to 1. Okay. So now we'll check whether a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is equals to 0 or not equals to 0. So substitute a1, b2 minus, sorry, a1, a2, b1, b2 values in this. Then we'll get 2 into minus 2 minus of minus 4 into 1 equals to minus 4 minus into minus plus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So we got a1, b2 minus a2, b1 equals to 0. a1 b2 minus a2 b1 equals to 0 so from this we'll get a1 b2 equals to a2 b1 so we'll get a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 or a2 by a1 equals to b2 by b2 by b1, right? You can also write this as a2 by a1 equals to b2 by b1. Okay, fine. 
So we have a1 by a2 equals to a1 value 2 by minus 4 equals to 1 by minus 2 and b1 by b2 equals to 1 by minus 2. So you can write from a1 by a2 equals to 1 by minus 2 row. Minus 2 into a1 equals to a2 and from this you get minus 2 into b1 equals to b2. Right? Also a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 equals to One by minus two or minus one by two. And A two equals to minus two A one. B two equals to minus two B. Since we have a2 equals to minus 2a1 and b2 equals to minus 2b1. If you substitute the values of a1, a2 and b1, b2 will get a2 that is minus 4 equals to minus 2 times a1, 2 and b2 minus 2 equals to minus 2 times b1, 1. Okay. So now we can replace a2 that is minus 4 by minus 2 times 2 that is minus 2 times a sorry a1 okay likewise we can replace b2 minus 2 by minus 2 of 1 which is minus 2 times b1 okay fine so now we can write this as this becomes dy by dx equals to 2x plus 4 plus 1 by replace minus 4 by minus 2 times 2 into x and this minus 2 by minus 2 times 1 into y plus 1. Okay. Now, we can take minus 2 common from the denominator. Okay, fine. So we have choose, we have replaced a2 and b2. So we'll take or let u equals to a1x plus b1, 1. Then u equals to replace a1, b1 values, you'll get 2x plus b1. 1 into y is 1. Or you can write this as 2 into x plus 1 into y. This is equal to 2x plus y. Now differentiate u with respect to x. Okay. We'll differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then we'll get du by dx equals 2 into dx by dx plus dy by dx. Then du by dx equals to 2x plus dy by dx. From this we will get 2 into 1. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Okay. So we will get du by dx minus 2 equals to dy by dx. Okay. Because we are having u equals to u 2x plus y. In order to replace 2x plus y by u, you need know, to take minus 2 common from the denominator. Then you'll get 2x plus y plus 1 by, if you take minus 2 common from the first two terms of denominator, you'll get minus 2 times 2x plus 1. 2x plus y plus 1. Now it's easy to replace 2x plus y by u and dy by dx by this okay now 
let u equals to 2x plus y from this we got dy by dx equals to du by dx minus 2 now we will replace dy by dx by du by dx minus 2 equals to u plus 1 by minus u plus 1 minus 2u right minus 2u plus 1 now take this minus 2 to rhs rhs it becomes plus 2 then du by dx equals to u plus 1 by minus 2u plus 1 plus 2 this equals to u plus 1 plus 2 times minus 2u plus 1 by minus 2u plus 1 then u plus 1 plus into minus minus 2 2 is a 4u plus 2 1 is a 2 by minus 2u plus 1 which is equals to 4 minus sorry u minus 4u is minus 3u plus 1 plus 2 is plus 3 by minus 2u plus 1 so we have du by dx equals to minus 3u plus 3 by minus 2u plus 1. Now take minus 3 common from the numerator and minus common from the denominator. Then this becomes minus 3 times u minus 1. Minus 3u into u is minus 3u. Minus into minus plus 3 into 1, 3. Okay. Minus of 2u minus 1. Minus into 2u is minus 2u. Minus into minus plus 1. So here minus gets cancelled and you will get 3 into u minus 1 by 2u minus 1. Okay. Now we will take all the functions of u and differential du on one side and all the functions of x and differential dx on the other side. Then. 2u minus 1 by u minus 1 into du equals to 3 into dx. So here the variables are separable. We have reduced the given non-homogeneous differential equation to variable separable form. Now, before performing integration, we will change this improper fraction to proper fraction. You are having 2u minus 1 by u minus 1. Right. So, if you represent it by p of u by q of u, the degree of p of u is 1 and degree of q of u is 1. Since degree of P of U equals to degree of Q of U, from this we can say that the fraction is an improper fraction. So now we will reduce this improper fraction to proper fraction using division method. So firstly, you need 2u to cancel this, right? You need 2u. So what we'll do is we'll simply multiply 2 to the divisor u minus 1. Then we'll get 2u minus 2. Okay? 2 is a 2u minus u. Now change the signs. Plus 2u minus 2u gets cancelled. You'll get plus 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay? You know that divisor into coefficient 
plus remainder gives dividend. So consider divisor into quotient. Divisor into quotient plus remainder that is one equals to two into u two u. Minus one into two minus two plus one equals to two u. Minus two plus one is minus one, which is our dividend. Okay, so now we can replace two u minus one by u minus one into two plus one. Since two u minus one equals to u minus one into two plus one. Then this becomes u minus one into two plus one by u minus one since you are having one two two terms in the numerator one term other term so you having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split the total expression into two terms so this equals to u minus one into two by u minus one plus one by u minus one. So u minus one gets cancelled in the first term. We we'll get two plus one by u minus one. So you're having one fraction, right? One by two, sorry, one by u minus one. So here you're having, if you're represented by some p of u by q of u, in the numerator you're having constant polynomial of degree zero. Okay, we call this as Constant polynomial and this is linear polynomial. Since p of u being linear polynomial, so degree of sorry, p of u being constant polynomial, so degree of p of u is zero, and p of u being linear polynomial, so degree of p of u is one. So therefore, degree of P of u is less than degree of Q of u. If degree of P of u is less than degree of Q of u, we can say that the fraction is a proper fraction. Okay. Fine. Since Two u minus one by u minus one equals to u. Sorry, two plus one by u minus one. Then this becomes simply replace this fraction by two plus one by u minus one into du. Equals to three into d. Now we can perform integration. Then you'll get since we know that integral dx is x plus integral constant c and integral one by a x plus b into dx equals to one by a into log mod a x plus b plus integral constant c. And this becomes two into integral du is u plus integral a a a u plus b d u for a equals to one and b equals to minus one. We we'll get one by a into log mod a u plus b. Okay, equals to three into integral dx is x. Plus integral constant c. Then two u plus log mod u minus one equals to three x plus c. Now replace u. 
we are having u equals to 2x plus y. Then this becomes 2 times 2x plus y plus log mod 2x plus y minus 1 equals to 3x plus c. Then 2 2 is 4, 4x plus 2y minus 3x. We'll just take this 3x to LHS. It becomes minus 3x plus log mod. 2x plus y minus 1 equals to c. Then 4x minus 3x is x plus 2y plus log mod 2x plus y minus 1 equals to c is the required solution. Therefore, therefore, x plus 2y plus log 2x plus y minus 1 equals to c is the required general solution. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.